Welcome. This is the Global Climate Report for September 2011. La Nina has made an unexpected comeback, but before we talk about that, let's deal with our trivia question for this month. It's about world record rainfalls. A town in a US state holds a record for the largest amount of rain to fall in one minute. Which state is that town in? And the second part is, in which country did the largest rainfall in one day occur? The answers will be given at the end. I'm going to divide this report into three parts. First we're going to talk about global temperatures. Then we're going to specifically look at US temperatures. And lastly we're going to look at the cryosphere. At the very end I'll mention the winners from the August 2011 competition. According to NOAA, the September land and ocean temperatures were slightly cooler than they were in August. But overall the global temperature was about the same, being ranked 8th. However, for the October competition, I'd like you to again guess the land, ocean and global rankings of the month of October. Put them in the comments box below and clearly label which one is land, which one is ocean and which one is the combination of the two. Here are the temperatures represented graphically, showing the land, ocean and the combined global temperature going back from every September back to 1880. There's an obvious trend here with cooler temperatures from 1880 to 1920. Then temperatures round about um, average for the period from 1920 up to about 1980. And from 1980 onwards, the temperature seems to have taken off, particularly for the land. How are these temperatures distributed globally? Here's a global map showing the temperature distribution. Red dots indicate that the temperature is above the 1971 to 2000 average, and blue dots are uh, temperatures below than that average. Let's remember a couple of things here. The larger the dot, the higher the temperature difference. And secondly, the 1971 to 2000 time frame contains a great deal of global warming in it. So these red dots, if they were uh, compared with the 1900 to 2000 time frame, say, would be very much larger. And there'd be far fewer blue dots too. We can see that North America, South America, Western Europe and Africa are very much above normal temperatures. There's a small portion of China and eastern Siberia which are below average, the southeast of the US and the northern part of Australia. The most important feature here is that finger of cold ocean stretching from western South America out into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That's the La Nina that I was talking about earlier. And the models predicted that that would be an El Nino by now, i.e. it would be red. So global temperatures would be significantly higher if that were the case. Now let's take a look at US temperatures. From this map of the continental United States, you can see that most of the states were above normal or very much above normal, with only a few states in the south and midwest uh, which were below normal. Does this mean that the US is generally warming or not? Well, as I mentioned in my previous videos, the best way of determining that is to compare the number of high temperature records with the number of low temperature records. If there was no warming trend, they would be about equal. For the month of September, I've compiled that list and we set 4,255 high temperature records and 3,536 low temperature records. That's a ratio of 1 to 1.23. That might not seem like a very large difference, but statistically that's a very significant amount. We can go on to compare the year to date and you'd find that the ratio is 2.3 to 1 with a very, very high significance. And if you take the last 365 days, you'd get, still get a ratio of above 2 to 1, again with a high level of significance. So the United States is warming, albeit slowly. Now let's take a look at the cryosphere, particularly the Arctic and the Antarctic. Here we have a plot of the September sea ice extent in the Northern Hemisphere. You can see that September of 2011 was the second lowest sea ice extent after the 2007 record. Here is the Arctic sea ice extent plotted for the last few months. The dark line is the average over all the um, observed cycles and the grey area is the um, two sigma uncertainty. The 2011 evolution, which is the blue line, is well beyond that two sigma um, uncertainty and is almost as bad as it was in the two record year of 2007. But the most important number here is really not just the area of the sea ice, 
but the amount of sea ice, the total amount, which is the area times the depth. And that has been showing a stunning decrease in the last few decades. And in fact, if anything, that seems to be accelerating. So the Arctic does seem to be in trouble. The Antarctic is not doing quite so badly because there's more um, ocean down there and the ozone hole above the Antarctic tends to produce different wind patterns that favour the formation of sea ice. Here is a list of the winners for the October um, Guess the Climate competition. You can see overall the results were very good indeed. And in fact our average forecast was very close to the final observations. Several people got the land uh, ranking correct, only Profit Chaser got the ocean temperature correct and nobody got the overall global temperature correct. However SP33DY03MON uh, got the best overall score. Well done. If you want to enter this month's competition, please uh, put in the comments list below your rankings for the land, the ocean and global temperatures and please be sure to note which is which. And our answer to the first trivia question which was which was the state in which the largest amount of rain to fall in one minute occurred? And that was the state of Maryland, surprisingly. A little place called Unionville where they had 1.2 inches of rain in one minute, which is about three centimeters. The second trivia question was what country has recorded the largest rainfall in a single day? And that would be Reunion, which is a small island in the Indian Ocean. That recorded 78.6 inches of rain, which is nearly two meters in a single day. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.